So I had a lot of questions about how I train with my training mask. So this is my toy. I have another sleeve on it. And I put it on an altitude of actually 18,000 feet. Now we got several levels. So we start with 3,000, 6,000, 9,000. And then we can higher it up to 12,000, 15,000 and 19,000, uh, 18,000 feet. So what it actually means is that it's going to limit your oxygen that you get inside which makes your lung capacity work harder and improve your lung capacity after when you don't train with a mask. You can breathe easily because your lung, the muscular, uh, the capacity is very big and very strong. Okay, so you can also do abdominal exercise with it. You can do it in the fitness, you can do it on running. I mostly do use it uh, when I'm running. In the other videos that you see of me, um, I do also in martial arts and also when I do it in fitness. So this kind of explanation is a little bit all around. But it's how I get used to the level of 18,000 feet. So first of all, um, when you never run with a mask, also be careful. Always make sure that you don't faint or you don't do anything that it won't work for you. So you train with the altitude that your body can hold, not because I train at 18,000 feet, you have to train at 18,000 feet. So maybe it's better for you to start only at 3,000 and build it up progressively. Okay, so I know athletes who started at 3,000 feet and are also now at 18,000 uh, feet after a while. I know athletes who start directly at 18,000 feet. Okay, it's depending on how strong you are in your cardio. So first of all, the mask has several sizes. When you check on the website from Training Mask itself, you can find a complete diagram. This is one. Here you can see it. This is a printout. I will put it in a drop in, boom, boom, how it works. So here you can see the uh, levels you can hold and the sizes that you have. Okay. So with using those sizes, you make sure that the mask, when you use it, it locks down all the uh, oxygen, so there's no air coming inside. Now, even I with a beard, it has no problem. When you have a big, big beard, you might get some problems because then the hair uh, will put out the mask, but for my beard, it's still okay. For the mask, I'm not gonna put it up and talk to you because you won't hear me. It comes with a sleeve but the, and uh, with a head over. Okay, so we're going to take one out of the box so you guys can see what's actually inside of the box. As you can see behind me, I have several boxes. These are the first boxes of the, level of the training mask too. So don't think when you get a box like this that it's a fake. Because uh, training mask has all serial numbers and pattern numbers inside. So you can check on their website if it's produced by them. Okay, so here we have a training mask inside. We have the new boxes. Like this, also, okay, so you also can see this has special features, the golden buttons. And we also have the black edition, okay. So this is the black, as you can see here, training mask is in black and most of the masks it's in white. It doesn't make any other difference with the mask itself, it's just the color, okay. So when you open it, it's all black. So let's unbox this one. So what do we have inside? We have the elevation mask, it's a manual. And also in the manual, there is an explanation about how you put your levels. Okay, so you don't have to stress out that you have to use Google every time or the website, how to use it, you can do it on the book, it's inside. We have a head over strap, so you can put it over the sides, so you can put it on over your head. I'll show a picture inside. So you unbox, then we have the empty box, and more inside. Okay. You can keep the box to put the training mask inside uh, that it don't get dirty, or you can buy the training mask training bag. It's a very good bag because it has a special uh, bag, uh, special uh, zone where you can put in your mask and uh, you can lock it because mine was already stolen a few times so it's good. 
So when you have the mask, here you can see the valves. I will explain the valves later on because we have several levels of the valves. You unwrap it in the back. Here are the several valves. And as you can see, well, you still tape on it that it's new. This one is black, but the other one is white. Okay, so this is actually everything that's inside of the box the caps, the mask, and the head over strap. I normally don't use the head over strap um, because for me it's comfortable enough to run with this one. Just run with that, it's no problem. Okay, so how to change the valves? It's very easy because uh, when you get it, um, let's see on what level this one is. So you can see I remove it. We have here all the holes and we have here one holes. So when I go check on the paper, it's at 3,000 feet. Okay, 9,000 feet. Yeah, it's on 9,000 feet because you have the airflow here, this one, and you have here with one hole. Okay, so let's check. The other ones. You can see here we have two holes with air inhale, four. Let's see, four, put it on the blue shirt or in the mirror. Let's see, four. When you have two of each, it means it's the side gaps. Okay? So the front gap, I'll show you in the white one, is always with the most uh, air out. Okay? So there is no other cap for in front. The only difference that we can have, I don't know if you can see it, here is a triangle, it's the new logo, it's this logo on these caps. And for example here, we just have training mask on it. I don't know if you can see it very well. They're still both original, so it's no problem to use them. Okay. So let me get this one off. As you can see now, we have Wait a minute. As you can see now, we have this valve. It's in the back, you see? When I twist it, it will be in the front, okay? This one is mostly for exhale, so we all leave it at every position at this way. So with the flat to the back wall you have here. So when you inhale, this one locks off the exhale oxygen coming inside, and you only inhale with these two on the outside. So these ones, you can still just click on it and they're stuck, okay? So when you check out here, you can use with the other valves in which reading area that you will be with simply switching these like this. So now I have one inhaling easily and these two are exhaling. So this one will block with the inhale inhalation. Let me see if I can show you. So as you can see, this one is totally blocked because the inhalation you will put in the air and this one will get against the, ray, uh, against the plastic so it won't come any air inside and here you still have the opening for the air to come inside. Okay, so this is my mask where I used to train, where I always train with. You got several sleeves on it. So what I mostly did was uh, when I went to training, uh, I went running or I went fitnessing or martial arts with boxing. I made my intensive zones, and the ones uh, where I will boost myself up. I did my workout session. Normally you do a hit training, for example. Uh, you do your fully hit, so you make sure that you get exhausted, and then you do your cool down. And then you do it again. You make sure that you do uh, the motion, the exercise on full level, and then you do again a cool down. So what I did was, actually, I started with my level. I, I tried very hard to get everything, blood pumping, heart rate up, get exhausted. And then, for my cool down, I put on the mask. I put on the mask to recover. For me, 
I had the complete luxury of reading normally when I was doing my exercise, but when my cooldown was, I blocked my reading with the mask. So I needed to recover with the mask. <laughs> then, after a few times, so I build it up in sets, when I do another set, I do it differently. I do my cooldown without a mask, and I do my exercise with the mask. Okay, so that's how I build it up. It's for every person, it's different. You can also go to, uh, check out trainingmask.com and you can find out any way of exercising there. This is my way, this is how I uh, gained uh, the altitude of 18,000 feet in no time. Okay, so I do my running, I pull up a sprint without the mask. When I need to recover, I put up the mask with a blocking of 18,000 feet. Recover with the mask on it, put it back off, do my sprint again, cool down, put the mask on, mask off, sprint, mask on, recover. Okay, so that way I trained, then I did it the other way around. I did my sprint with my mask on, I recovered with my mask off, also in several uh, sets. So what I did afterwards, when I thought, okay, now my breathing is okay, I kept on the mask, running, and recovering at the same time. So I did my sprint with my mask off, on, I mean, and I recovered with my mask on, okay? So that way, it was easy for me uh, to get my breathing. Sometimes I even notice that I run better with my mask on than without, because I had trouble breathing, okay? As you can notice already, I'm also talking very fast, and when I run, I'm <laughs> I breathe incorrectly. So my breathing is not correctly. And with the training mask, I learned to breathe correct. Because you have to do an effort to breathe in with the 18,000 feet, and you have to control the breathe out. So you don't just do <laughs> because it's, it, it doesn't have the time to get enough oxygen inside. So I had to learn to breathe in and breathe out in a controlled way. And that way, uh, my cardio is better with my mask than sometimes trying to run without. So do try out the several altitudes that you think is good for you. Okay, so for example, when I'm in a fitness, because this was about running, when I'm in a fitness doing the training mask, I can also do a hit or I can just do my exercises when I do a cable cross or a bench press or a squatting or my ab workout or my pull ups or anything else with a weight. You do use the mask at the same time, it's the same thing. You're blocking your breath, uh, your breathing, and in that way, you can improve your cardio. I even have clients who sit in, in the seat watching TV with a mask on, okay? So how to, for them to control their breathing at a very good time, okay? So if you have any questions, pop down the text below or just inbox me and I will be happy to answer you. In the meanwhile, if you want a training mask, be sure you get the original ones and not the fake ones. So it's trainingmask.com. They do worldwide shippings. You have the uh, serial number inside of the box, which, can you, which you can check uh, that you have an authentic mask. Okay? Do follow them on Instagram, our training mask, or our training mask Europe. It's for the European version. Uh, actually, it's just the guy who makes the supplies, uh, the deliveries in Europe. So it's both the same mask. And also give me a follow on Instagram, at Hennessy You can see it here below. Thank you very much. See you at the next video.